Thank you, Sam. Now switching gears, the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl is known nationwide for its hospitality. Both Pitt and UCLA have said as much since arriving this week. But who would have thought that a chance encounter on Christmas in Dallas would have led to a UTEP coach being a part of that legendary Sun City charm? Getting stranded in an airport on Christmas Day only to get to your destination thanks to the kindness of a stranger sounds like a script from a movie. But for three Pitt football players, it really happened. You know, it was just a lot of fun and a Christmas story that I'll never forget. Jake Frannel, Samuel Okunlola, and Hudson Primus were stranded in the Dallas airport Sunday night after their flight to El Paso for the Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl was canceled. So they decided to rent a car and drive nine hours to the Sun City. That's where fate stepped in. This couple in front of us, here's uh, that we're heading to El Paso, and we start talking, and uh, it turns out that he's the head basketball coach here at UTEP. That's right. Joe Golding and his family were in a similar spot, stranded in Dallas. And I was like, well, hey, if we, uh, if we can find a big enough car, I'll take you guys home, you know? And they're like, who are you, you know? A fair question, but anyone who knows Golding knows that this is just who he is. I didn't even really think twice about it, right? Uh, I would hope somebody would do that to Case and Chase one time, you know? If they were stranded on Christmas night, man, somewhere and, and needed a ride home. So, Ford Explorer secured around 10 p.m. The three Panthers and the four Goldings settled in for a nine-hour ride across the Lone Star State. I mean, he seemed like a, a responsible person, a trustful person. He didn't have to do that for us. So, yeah, I'm definitely appreciative. For someone to, you know, offer to take three guys that he's never met before on a nine-hour trip, you know, that's that's not everyone. Golding said the crew stopped just once on the overnight ride in Pecos for some coffee and Red Bull. They rolled into El Paso around 6 a.m. in time for Pitt's first practice in El Paso. Uh, I just want to give a shout out to, you know, uh, to those guys. That, again, just goes back to the hospitality. It was a great job by Joe, Joe and we appreciate it. It's a blessing. We enjoyed some fellowship and time and, and, and learned about each other's families and spent some time together. So it's definitely a Christmas I'll never forget. I can promise you that. Golden said the three pit players were awesome passengers, even if they all fell asleep and left Golden without a co-pilot for the last five hours of the trip. One thing is for sure, though, they will be fans of each other for life. The Tony the Tiger Sun Bowl kicks off on Friday at noon here in El Paso.